here with Emily. Hi. What's your last name? Emily? Sweatman. Sweatman. Emily Sweatman. I am going to give Emily a makeover. You know, I'm going to do something different with her hair. Make it, she's an edgy girl. Like, I mean, you know, y'all know me. I like edgy. I'm, I like a little, little of everything. But Emily has opened up to me and said, okay, I'll let you do something. But just don't go completely short. You know, what else do you say? Don't go short and don't go light colors. Don't go light colors. We're gonna go light in some areas, but not too light. She told me, actually blonde. Yeah, light blonde, to blonde. be specific. Yeah, so I can't wait to do this makeover because she is, and you guys cannot tell, <laughs> but she is a drag queen. No, me and I are not the only ones that are drag queens. <laughs> she is one. So, I wanna get close. Let's get closer. And check her, out her, check out her hair. Look how long it is! It is gorgeous. She has gorgeous hair. Obviously, she's gone short before. Can you show us a picture of how short you you gone? Absolutely. I think I've had it a little shorter than that before. Let me see. Can you guys see it? Okay, so as you can see. She has her sides like shaved off. And you're back too? Mm -hmm. Look at you, you're so cute. Hey. How old were you when you did that? 18. 18, and you're what now? 19. 19, so last year you shaved it off. Absolutely. I love that on you, we are not at all. <laughs> <laughs> gonna go that short, we're gonna go more edgy and colorful. So, as you guys can see, I have pre-lightened her hair. My God was her Parada Ridge. Um, I'm giving her a cut today that would, you know, pretty much suit her entire look along with the color enhancement that I'm giving her. She has several colors that I'm getting ready to apply, so get ready. She is um, right now getting blown out just to make sure her hair is dry. I like to do this because the color will adhere to um, the hair a whole lot better. So as I continue to blow out her hair, you guys watch and you know when I start applying the color, you know I'm picking out a couple of colors that you know not only fits her skin, her skin tone, but that actually is fun and like I said she's a drag queen so she doesn't mind fun
but as you guys can see um back to this color my client um, has her outer perimeter you know lifted up to about a two and you know that is just enough for uh, me to uh, give her some some of this violet that you see um, it would mainly show in the sun but you know I like to use that because the more you shampoo the hair you know the more the rinse you know loses its, loses its vibrancy so um, you know continue to watch so at this point I like to customize colors so what I've done was mix my purple with the pink I wanted to make this purple a little more vibrant so I mixed the pink I love customizing colors you guys and you should do that more in the salon so at this point you will see me What you will see me doing at this point is combing the rinse through. I want to make sure it touches every strand. If it doesn't touch every strand, it will not color. So make sure you guys are doing this when you're applying color. You want to make sure every strand of color has been touched. So I use that peace sign that you see on Manic, Manic Panic to create her panels. I just like to be creative. I mean, I had no other reason to do this, but, um, you know, using my creativity, I decided to try something different. Um, as you can see, the purple that I've applied to her hair is very vibrant. You guys will see this throughout the crown of her head. Um, I am using these foils just to make sure that I don't get color on the other panels. Now for other than separating, I'm going to apply another piece of foil right around that section just to make sure that the heat is locked in and you know sometimes we could get um, a lower level of color on the end so I want to make sure the color on the ends is just as vibrant. Okay, so now that I've applied color to each panel, watch as I roll her out and she gets her makeup together. Oh my god, you guys, I cannot wait. This girl has style. I mean, I love my vanilla girl, but this particular one, she's just dope. Unapologetically dope. Okay, now I will begin to clean up this look and finish this cut. 
I will go around her exterior with this sheer over comb method. You guys, I love this look on her because, you know, she looks like a rock star. I think I've said that too many times. But like I said, I do love her look and, you know, I want to make sure she leaves out with a very crisp cut. The more I speak, you know, in these terms, the more you would need to know. But, lamest terms, I am tapering her hair. I will taper her exterior to about a half an inch. The very crown, I will elevate her hair up to 90. Use 45 degree angles to give her texture. And I will also give her a razor effect right at her fringe area. Um, I'm doing everything pretty fast, but uh, she will be able to wear this look in all sorts of ways, all sorts of directions. So, yes, here you go. So, while you're at it, you guys, go ahead and like and subscribe to this video. If you like this video, Please comment. If you don't like it, I would love your comments as well. And y'all know what I want y'all to do. Keep it cocky and do it what? Unapologetically. Thanks you guys for watching. Until next time, I will see you soon. Peace. So cute. So there she is, you guys. We finished her look. This is the makeover. I just all I did was she had on those shorts already. She brought those boots because she wears boots like that. Yeah. Anyway, give them some action with those boots. Oh yeah. So I cut up that shirt for y'all. She looks so gorgeous. Oh my God. Move your hair, hands through your hair. Watch all those colors.